Dear viewers, in this lecture, I am just going to show that how we'll design simply supported or how we'll design one way continuous slope. So let's start. And before starting, if you're new to our channel, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon. So I'm just clicking new after opening our software. And from here, you have to select your uh, design codes. And after that, I'll just go concrete section. And from here, I'll just go on a slab design. Here, the on a slab design. And I'll click calculate. When I'm here, from here, there are two options one way simply supported or one way continuous. So I'll select on a continuous. Right? On a continuous. So here, uh, one in continuous or anything. Okay? On in, uh, on in continuous or both in continuous or cantilever. So if you click here cantilever so which types of moment will be the on will be positive and on will be negative for cantilever you will get some positive moment and also you'll get some negative moment right and also for both in continuous you also get a positive moment and negative moment right so in here uh, i'm considering that um, our moment is equal in positive and negative and also um, I'll request to if you have any special recommendation or anything then you can change that for which types of moment you want to design for positive moment or for negative moment so I'm just uh, using positive moment okay and I um, ask both in continuous and here I have um, provided uh, factor positive moment that is factor positive and factor share first so here both two and I'll just click slab design and here here I will uh, consider what is the overall depth will be. So I am just considering that will be so it's four inch. Okay. So in four inch in each in initial way it's okay. Then I will click clear cover that is 0 0.75 clear cover. And uh, before that what are the span actually uh, eight feet. Okay. So here I will consider number three bar. Okay. And the spacing is consider that. 18 is spacing for a tension bar and for uh, actually for transverse or shrinkage temperature bar uh, if you consider that that is consider that this is 10 inch okay 10 inch spacing and here 18 is spacing just see as per and also change here the concrete value so here everything is okay okay for uh, 4 inch overall depth of slab I'll just click OK. Just see our all design check is OK here. If you see here, our all design check is OK. And also, if you consider this is for negative value, OK. And if you just come here for negative value and everything, just see maximum allowable area of reinforcement is exist. OK. Maximum allowable. So I'll just use number three and spacing is number six. Just see um, this is OK and for that side this is also okay and here reinforcement and thickness for 4 inch 0 0.75 and if i click okay just see now in this time the reinforcement have come in top right the reinforcement have come in top because uh, it should be so uh, for negative moment in this way you are able and for also for continuous uh, cantilever section cantilever per you are able to design your section like that so uh, I'm just considering positive again slab design and this is number 318 okay it's okay and okay okay so this is for positive and also just simply change here and come here and uh, that is okay and click okay finish here just see in this way you are able to show the design value okay for a different types of condition of support I mean different types of support condition so uh thank you thank you very much i've also changed that data i hope it will be okay so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and uh, i hope you have subscribed to my channel and also if you didn't please subscribe to, uh, to our channel because uh, your subscription your like your comment inspires for the next word so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video finish and here after uh, finishing just you will see the every detailed data here okay so here is the um, diagram so thank you thank you very much